welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a Ulta and Target haul today. I picked up a couple little things, nothing major, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I purchased on camera. So hello, if this is your first time checking me out, my name is Shawnee Martinez. Hey y'all, and please hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime I do any type of uploads. Also, if you're oldie to this channel, please comment down below. Let me know if you guys like the hauls. I have not done a haul on my channel since probably 2018. <laughs> um, yes, I have not done a haul, haul in quite some time. Maybe... I might have did one last year when I did my fall decor haul. So honestly, I have not done a haul in quite some time. I'm always buying things. So if you guys want to see some more of my hauls, comment down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing is from Target. I did a drive up order instead of going in. I actually really love Target drive up. Y'all, has this quarantine made y'all lazy and don't want to go into stores? Because I don't want to go into stores. Now that everybody does drive up. So... Yes, the first two items I picked up was the Revolution Revolution Makeup London Lip Glosses. So I got it in the color Kiss and I got one in the color Candy. Oh, this one says Pout Bomb. Oh, they both say Pout Bomb. So they're a plumping lip gloss. Hmm, we'll see how. I don't need any extra plump. I don't want to be looking around like I got duck lips or, yeah, duck lips. That's not cute. Oops. So, let's open this up and see. Because I wanted some new lip glosses. And the ones that I have recently been liking, I've been loving the Fenty Bomb lip glosses. And I haven't gone to Sephora, excuse me, recently. So, I wanted to see if Drugstore had any cute lip glosses and so I saw Revolution I actually like their concealer not for under eyes but I like their concealer for like eyebrows and other things that you would use concealer for but under eyes I'm still a tart tart tape shape girl so let's see ooh this is a thick applicator I feel like everybody comes up with a thick, thick applicator now oh faint. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these on camera. Oh, you're going to see that one. Let's see if I can apply another one, another coat. So these are the two lip glosses that I got that I purchased. One's in Kiss, one is in Candy. So I will let y'all know if I like these, but they were only $7. So I was like, hmm, that's not bad for a lip gloss because you know, lip glosses can be pricey depending on which brand you pick them up from. So the next three items that I picked up from Target are hair care items. So the first item I picked up is the Eden Natural Curl Defining Cream. It defines your curls. I actually have a review on my channel of this. I will link this in the description box below and above. I actually really, really like this product. It definitely defined my curls. I was a huge fan of it. The bottle, the jar itself is only $8.98. And um, you get 16 fluid ounces. I was a huge fan of this. I think the first person I saw, I actually watched do a review on this was Kiondis. She did one. And I was like, I have to check that out. So you simply just apply the product to damp hair and you style from there. Honestly, you do not need a lot of this product. A little bit definitely goes a long way. So this jar is amazing. I picked it up from Target, $8.98. If you love coconut on your hair and your hair does good with coconut, this is definitely a product to pick up, especially if you're wanting something that can define your curls and just overall make your hair look beautiful, healthy, and full. So the next item I picked up on my list, I was actually wanting to buy the Curls Liquid Vitamins. They did not have it available at this Target. I didn't feel like driving around, but I did go ahead and pick up the Blueberry Bliss Hair and Scalp Oil. So I have personally never used this product. It was for four fluid ounces. I picked it up for, I want to say $14.99 if I'm not mistaken. You guys know I'm a huge Camille Rose 
girl i love her uh growth serum oil but i decided to switch it up a little bit to see if my hair would like this oil so let me know in the comment sections if you guys have used this oil did you guys see any difference within your hair i feel like some hair growth oils are heavy so i never make it through the bottle and i never get what the oil promotes because they're just so heavy and they weigh my hair down this smells amazing i love the blueberry smell so hopefully this is not a heavy heavy oil it actually doesn't seem like it's going to be a heavy oil so i'm actually excited to check it out yeah it, very, it seems very very lightweight so hopefully this works for my hair but i was so excited to check it out the last item i picked up from target was just a lift hair pick i'm tired of my hair being flat so i just picked up a lift hair pick for i want to say it was like two dollars it's from con air so we're gonna see if we can give my hair some volume some life i've been using a diffuser lately and i feel like the diffuser does do it to an extent but i feel like sometimes you got to go back in and just pick it out to make sure your hair doesn't look dead stiff scraggly and weighed down by products so i'm definitely excited to check this product out so we are moving on to ulta so i literally went to ulta for one thing one thing only and it was to get products or a product to help with straightening my hair i am going to show the video on youtube so you guys are going to see me straighten my hair i don't think any of y'all have seen me straighten my real hair on this channel like ever so we're going to get to the nitty gritty so i needed a heat protectant so i was looking up a lot of heat protectants that people use people say lightweight work really well for their hair sound up in the comment section especially if you have fine low porosity hair let me know what type of heat protectant you use this is definitely going to be a trial and error for me especially since i have not straightened my hair in about two years probably the last time i straightened my hair was my wedding and then after that i didn't straighten my hair anymore no that's a lie. I had a sew-in and I had a leave out and my hair was straightened for my maternity photos. So I want to say about a year, year and a half now that I have not straightened my hair. So I picked up the Tresemme used by professionals heat protectant up to 450 Fahrenheit thermal creations. It is a leave-in spray works with heat applications. The heat tamer protects against heat damage. So I got eight fluid ounces. I believe this was $11.99. So this is the bottle. It comes with a neat little sprayer. And I have seen a lot of people rave about this product. A lot of people love this product, but I haven't seen anybody with my hair type. So we will see if this is too heavy for my hair. With that product, I picked up the John Frida Frizz ease three day woo, straight flat iron spray so this creates a smooth straight style that lasts up to three days this has keratin in it Ooh. so we will see how this works i'm kind of i'm usually on the fence about keratin i don't really mess with keratin a lot but we will see y'all Yes, so sound off in the comments section. Let me know if you guys use this. I have seen this on a lot of people's reviews. They have used this product. So we're going to see. I am going to treat my hair before I straighten my hair. And I'm also going to treat my hair after I straighten my hair. So you guys are going to see me go through that entire process. But this is another product I watched on YouTube and I saw a lot of people use. I guess I really didn't read it that well. But we're going to check it out and see. Fingers crossed, hopefully this product definitely works out. So on top of that, I needed just a regular comb. I got this basic comb. I wanna say it was like $2.79. I was actually surprised Ulta had one. I thought I was gonna have to go to a beauty supply store or a Walmart. I didn't wanna go on a Walmart though. But anyways, I picked this up so I can trace my hair as I hit the heat and it goes over. One, the second to the last, well, the second to the last product that I picked up was a Becca lipstick. It was originally $24. They had it on sale for, I believe, 
$12.99. They had all their products half off. I'm so sad to see Becca go, but I feel like we kind of forgot about Becca. And Becca's going. It is Tawny. It's a nude color. So I am so obsessed with nudes. I really, really like nudes. And I'm a red girl, as y'all can see. You really can't see it that well on camera, I don't think. But this is the lip color hopefully it works out for me if not all sales were final on this and we're just gonna make it work so i actually like becca's foundation i was looking in there because they had their 50 percent off foundation as well but i couldn't find my color and they didn't have the swatches there so i didn't want to be stuck with a color that didn't work i kind of hate mixing foundations as well so that's my own issue but y'all, do y'all remember Becca? Are y'all going to miss Becca? I feel like I'm going to miss Becca. Becca had some bomb highlighters. But I guess they weren't that bomb. <laughs> um, and the last product that I picked up, I I've been looking for this product. I've been searching high and low because every time I go to Ulta, this product is sold out. I don't know if it's just the time that I'm looking for it or even when I go on to Sephora. The whole quarantine, I feel like everybody was buying this. The moment I got restocked, it was selling out. Restock, sell out. Restock, sell out. It is the Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% Pilling Solution. A 10-minute exfoliating facial pH 3.6. Comes in a little dropper tube like this. So you guys, let me know if y'all use this. I love the ordinary products. I really, really do. I feel like you just have to have the right combo for them because they will mess you up if you're just throwing products on top of products on top of products. So this is supposed to, you're supposed to apply it on clean face, wait for your skin to dry, and do not use wet skin. Apply evenly across face and neck use fingertips avoiding the eye and leave on for no more than 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water do not use on sensitive peeling or compromised skin Ooh, i have sensitive skin so i wonder if this is a good buy it says do not leave on longer than 10 minutes and it says it's not recommended to use more than twice a week. You guys are actually going to try this on my jawline before I decide to put this on my entire face. Your girl's not about to stick this all over her face and have a hot mess reaction. So that is interesting. So I'm going to actually test it out on my jawline to see if it does all right. If it does all right on my jawline, then I will stick it all over my face. I am going to read the instructions. I will probably do a review just to see if this works on sensitive skin. So I will definitely give you guys an update. The shelf life on this is 12 months. So after, after opening it, it's 12 months. I got one fluid ounce. I believe this was $10.99. When I checked out at the register, the guy was like, this goes so fast, it's hard to keep on the shelves. And I was like, yeah, it's hard for me to find it. So hopefully this lives up to the hype and this isn't a product that pretty much I have to go by the wayside. So we're going to see how good this product actually is. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know if you've ever used this product. Again, it's the Ordinary H. AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. So I do have some, I really wanted it for my forehead. So that's why I picked it up. So we are about to see if this is going to work for your girl. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching my haul. Sound off in the comment section. Let me know if you guys like this haul or not. I'll do more hauls like this. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. And hopefully my skin is intact because... I'm too old to be experimenting and looking like a red chicken. Okay? I just can't. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.